this is today's project get this sorted first swap over and get that one done so we're all set up all ready to go uh, if you look at the camera now with your embarrassed face i can zoom in when i get any edit <laughs> Digger there. It's a Bellway estate back there. Anyway, enough of that. Got another pack of block orders for today. Coming today. This is today's project. Get this sorted first. Swap over and get that one done. What we've got left on here is a full block and then a 150 cut, which works perfect with our pad stones, which is going to be a 150 lintel. So what I'm doing at the moment is getting the boards down to protect the slab because it's only this was obviously only done yesterday. A couple of boards down, start to pack up, get them up, ready to go, get it loaded out, mix is on, Danny's done the mix, he's gone off to do the school run. And then once that starts us up and get the other board down, get it all loaded out with all those the handy block grabs. So that's today's job. Whack this one up as high as we can drop onto this side get that up as high as I can and then hopefully if we've got time is get the trestles up get set up for finishing off there's a window in this side a high level window so up this height uh, about two and a half courses high and it's about 1140 wide just for ventilation uh, it's gonna be a flat roof with a lantern so yeah the slab's gone off nice always always nice to get the slab in so much solid to work off so I'm going to stick you back on time lapse, get all this sorted out and get loaded out and by that time the mix should be ready. So I'll catch you in a bit. them chucked up that's as I can go with the trestle now um, yeah it's gonna be two course of block and two course of brick well a block cut down ready for setting this out now just need to get the damp course down just a quick one <clears throat> whenever I'm setting this wall back here I always just do it by eye and it never works out so what I've just done now is Square. There we go. Just 
Now that's not wrong now. So instead of guessing, use the proper job. So yeah, there's that smart getting now. I just need to make sure it works that line now. So I'm gonna get my damp course down, get set up, insulation's ready to go, and then have a quick break and then crack on. So I'll see ya. Well, I'll put in time lapse first, then we'll see after break. There we go, it's 10 past 12, so that's the first mix used up. Need to go with Danny to go and look at a little job. I'm going to try and throw my dinner down first. So yeah, I've got a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. About another 9 blocks, no, 11 blocks to load in there. A couple more cuts to do. But we're getting there, coming on nice. Just get it levelled up with that and then swap over to there this afternoon. Loads of cuts. But it's always the same on the internal. You've got to cut there, cut in that corner, cut there, and then a cut there, and then the opposite corner, cut there, and then a cut there. And then because it's, we don't really want to use the cutter. Not just because I'm messing the garden up, but I'm covered in sun cream, so I'll end up grey. So I'll just do it with the bolster for now. Just carry on. Join that up after dinner. Go and have a look at this job. So I'll catch you in a bit.
There we go. 20 past four? Yeah, 20 past four. It's Thursday the 23rd of May. Sorry, Tuesday. Yeah. We're away tomorrow and Thursday and Friday. So we me and Alex will be back Saturday because Alex will be back Thursday. So we've got obviously we've got this to finish. There's our window. And then Danny's in the next two days, he's gonna give us all our, all of us to work to at the top. There's our pad stone there, but that's going across that way. Um for the steel, which is a 152 by 89, so should be handleable for me and Alex on our own. So yeah, um there's the other side, all done. That was um yeah, that was done flat. It was we had to, that was done from scratch. We had to board it out, do all the cuts, load it out, build it, and then swap over. Same again, board it out, do all the cuts and get it built. So not done too bad. Not bad for an hour flow, the gummy leg. So yeah, there's not much to do. You can see the top there. Across there. I think it's another two, two and two and three, two and two thirds courses, so two full courses and then 150 course but I'll know better when we come back on Saturday good Saturday morning on this glorious Saturday the 27th of May we're back the band's back together Alex is back from Sweden we got back from Drayton, Man uh, Drayton Manor and Leamington yesterday so having had the last three days off of work in the weekend bank holiday weekend so I don't think we're working Monday and then we've got a new project to start Tuesday, new extension. So here we go, that's where we're up to. So Danny's been in and done a little bit of block work for us and he's given us our, he's put us a piece of timber up each side with all our measurements to work to. There's our steel ready to go in, which is gonna go in tomorrow morning. And we're gonna get everything set up, ready for it. So it's gone off for the morning. I'm just gonna get the profiles back up on the corners. I know it's only two course of block, but the reason I'm putting the profiles back up is so we can get a laser level up and get the marks put onto the, onto the profiles with the laser. Get everything nice and level. Um, Alex is just getting the mix set up at the front. Down there somewhere. Hello. I'm back. And uh, so is Dad from his little air uh, trip. We both had a uh, nice little holidays. I went to Sweden, as mentioned. And Dad went to Drayton Manor with the rest of the family. Daisy's first time at their Thomas Land, so. But, we're back in work mode now, so we are back on the extension. And obviously, Dad and Dan have been busy since I've been, uh, since I've been gone. Uh, I think all that's left now is, a, from, the, from the top course, a block and a 150 cut, I think. Oh right. I think. Um, no, it's not because the outside comes up. The pa pa uh, wall plate goes on the inside, so this block work got to come up yet to I think to the top of steel. I see. Put it up there. So um, we've got our laser level up. So we've got my mark on this. Yeah. Profile. Got our laser for our marks, and um, this is our. Every, basing everything off of these, all the measurements and the placements are there, so we've got all that. Um, yeah, so that's the job, get get this finished. I think the steel is going in tomorrow with uh, Dan's help, so no stress with that today, we'll get that sorted tomorrow. Let's just get everything set up so we can finish tomorrow. So yeah, I will set you up when, when something exciting is happening. See you then. Assistant. Hello. Yeah, we set the laser up to the bottom of steel. You can't see that in the sunshine, but it's, it's there on the line. You can see it on the back of the wall, though, where it's gone past. Yeah. So we just mark that up. Not that we're going to move the laser, but And then you'll 
see, you should see it on that wall. That should, should, camera should pick that up. So I just stuck a pencil mark on there in case we do lose the laser, and I've marked it on the profile there. It's like I say, we don't really need the profiles up, but the profiles we can put the laser lines on the profile. So we've got our marks and we've got our profiles to work off. Well, let show a quick view of what's behind. There you go. Got a Bell Wave State just kicking off. Got a couple of houses done down that end. And then you can see they're doing the, all the groundworks, roads and sewers. So should be nice. It's got a nice long garden, so they're not overlooked too much. So yeah, there's a good view from up top. So we're going to try and get this across to there. See if we can see if it'll pick up over there. We do have a, a target. the target to help us pick the line up we're still working out how to use this thing but yeah so yeah this side so this side set up so there's the lines there's the lines so that's our bottom of steel height so yeah I'm gonna hop across the other side and get that side done and then we can work the cuts out then I think we've got a 150 cut underneath the pad stone and then it's a 150 pad stone and Danny wants us to put the pad stone from front to back so um, we'll sort that those cuts out and then that'll be going off overnight ready for that to go up tomorrow and we'll get the trestle set up for us all to throw that up tomorrow it's not a large steel that so it shouldn't be too bad and window in there just two quarters of block deep we've got the lintel for that too so yeah it's just a matter of just getting our head round getting ourselves organised and then we're away then so that's it, I'm going to get back on this and get those marks put over there, so catch you in a bit. There we go, wow look at that, anyone who likes planes look at that today. We had the, uh, the Beluga come over the other day, the Airbus that brings all the bits into, I can't remember what it's called, the Airbase down at Chester. That makes the Airbus wings. But yeah, you get all the um, Liverpool planes coming over and Manchester planes. And for some reason, they come up there and turn and head that way. Anyway, that's enough about the planes. Yeah, we're all sorted. We can actually take the laser down now because I've put all my marks on. I've put all extra marks on there, 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 there. Written on bottom of steel. So that's that's the bottom of steel, and then there'll be another course of block above that. Same over there, put all the marks on the walls and if you look at, well I'll show you this one, on the profile at that end, you can see a piece of white mas masking tape, same here, bottom of the tape is our level, I'll just show you with the level again, squeeze that round, there you go, yeah you can just make it out there now, just, just see the green line, get me out of the way. Uh, everything's set. We don't have to check anything back now. We work. We work off what we've got. Thanks to this thing. So, um, yeah, get me around the cuts now. Get all the cuts done before I put my sun cream on. And Alex is going to get half a mix around the front because there's not a lot to do. And then we're going to get cracking. Get everything up. So, Alex is back. Sarah and Stuart are off to Ireland to a wedding, so we have Daisy for three days. So, wish us luck. Shouldn't say that, she's good as gold, but she might decide to have a meltdown while mummy and daddy aren't there. Maybe. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, there's nothing not to film for a bit now, so once we've got a mix on and that and a few cuts done, we'll get back to you. This is the equivalent to the murder lift on site when you're at that height where you, you there's a lot of faffing about when you not don't get much done. So um it's way after break now, all the cuts are done. I've done 27 of them, don't think I need 27 because I've got the window in it. 
yeah they're all done Alex set up the trestle has slowed it out got the mix in he's currently bringing some water around and we're going to get this side up first then we'll see how we go on from there I have to be careful where we put the camera now with the sun, where the sun is. So yeah, like I say, we're all set up, all ready to go. I'm going to stream the line up, put a spot board up and then get cracking. I'll actually jump up once we're all loaded up. So um, yeah, let's get set up and get cracking. So, happy days, we've got one lintel in. That side's more or less done, but we've run out of water and uh, drinks are coming, so we'll be going for lunch. But after then, we're on there, and that'll go a bit better because one, there's already nine, well, 99% of the course up and all the cuts are ready, so we can get started on that immediately. So, but progress. Show more high tech. Thank you, Richard, for your gear. The Fitz brick has many uses beyond uh, that of brick lane. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll catch you after lunch. Hold on, what are we holding on for? Let's turn Tom down. All right, sorry Tom. So, there, that's that's what's going on with the pad stones, bridging the cavity. But because we've only got one, we decided to put the off put in there. So it's all pad stone now. That's full 200. And it's bonding the walls as well. Ready for that to go on top. Same over there. We've got a couple in the garage, haven't we? Can bring tomorrow. Yeah. We'll get that one on. We'll slot the bits in the back tomorrow morning before the steel goes on top. Very bizarre, but... Hmm. So, we've done here now, a lot, a lot later than I thought it'd be. Half two, is it? Probably, yeah. Yeah, it is pretty scorch out today. I'll just... Uh, point you straight at the sun. There you go, that's how warm I'll just check your watch there, where from work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, anyway, that's up. 
I'm pretty sure that's ceiling height now. Any different we'll find out tomorrow and we'll, we'll add to it or whatever. Uh, obviously there's your steel height, steel to go on and then block to go over the top, well more cuts to go over the top of the steel because the steel's only 160. So we're going to end up with a, a, another few of these thin cuts across the top. And then the wall plate is just across the front, of, yeah, because the spars run front to back. So we only need a wall plate front to back, uh, along the front over the steel. Not sure, oh yeah, block work, same height again all the way around, basically level round at that height. We'll leave the profiles up tonight, they're just handy. And we're going to drop this, move it over there, and get as much as that done we can today. And then crack it off tomorrow. Very table. Love it. That, but that's that standing, we can have that piece of wood. <laughs> the any &E method, the yeah. table out. Robbie and Robbie as well. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to move that back this way a bit, move this all around over there and car carry on. Like I say, we spent an hour working out, getting our heads around it and getting all the cuts done. So this is why you don't do extensions on a price. It's all right, you're throwing all that up and that up in two days and just walloping it up, that's great. And then you get to this murder lift with all your cuts and you're setting out your doors and your lintels and sometimes cavity trays. But on this one, we don't need cavity trays because it's a flat roof on top, that high above the window. So there's no, and it's, and it's rendered. So at the point, it's putting cavity trays in. So, that's enough waffle. I don't want to look at the time because I'll only make myself nervous. Well, what we've got for us this time is one cuts are done, and we've got an extra course already, already done. Well, almost. Plus, we know what we're doing. We've done this side now. We just copy that apart from the window. Yeah. So that's it be, it's funny enough because there's a window in it. You think it to be quicker, but it's quicker when there's no window in it. You're just running backwards and forwards. Window slow you down. Obviously, we've got no lintel to be messing about with. No plumbing up around the windows and stuff, so just... <laughs> I'm glad they got that on camera. <laughs> well, if you look at the camera now with your embarrassed face, I can zoom in when I get on the edit. <laughs> right, let's shut up and get down there and get, get packed up. Packed, not packed up, moved. Packed up? Let's shut up and let's get down there and get it moved.
Uh, you know, I'm on stage, obviously you're out there, you're in front of crowds, and you're playing in front of some massive crowds, it's going to be massive on Monday as well. What is it like being out there when it's just you? Sorry, Kylie. Right. Unfortunately, we just we just ran short of water. We were like a bucket full short. But it's about quarter past four now, so. On a Saturday. On a Saturday, yeah. So we're just gonna get we're gonna get finished up with the jointing and just finish this off tomorrow. We've got the we've got the pad stone on. We've got that part on, which is the main thing, obviously. Like we said before, tomorrow we're going to get the ones from home and put them in that gap. But that's set up for the steel at least, so we can continue with that tomorrow. And then once once we've got a mix ready for the uh, steel and what have you, we'll just get all that done at the same time. So, yeah, so all that's left to do is joint up and tidy up. I'm, I'm trying to tidy up. And feck off. And, and that. So, yeah, we'll uh, catch you tomorrow for the steel. Just turn the prodigy down. <clears throat> so what? It's a crime. I know, turn the prodigy down. Right, so they both in? Yeah, I've just popped the two pastors from home in, so they're going off now. Solid. Um, just thinking about this on the way here. I'm, th I'm thinking that's like a cold bridge and, a, and it's bridging the cavity, but we're working for, this isn't our job we've been asked to put them on like that so we do as I told um, but it's rendered so it's there's not going to be any water penetrating through the plus their um dense concrete so that's not going to happen um <clears throat> yeah so we're ready to get that up to there and then up to the just me and the just the two of us today so so we're going to get that up, get the cut set out. Alex already got a mix in, and we're going to finish tidying up here. We're nearly done now. And well, Alex's going to finish tidying up while I get this built in. Bit of pointing to go over that we didn't, that we missed yesterday. Need to get that dance sorted too. It's a bomb site. Yeah. Right. I'll hand the camera to Alex and he'll put it on the steel, and I'll go and get the GoPro to time lapse it from here. There we go, we did it. It's just the two of us. Oh. It's all about taking your time, getting up bit by bit. So yeah, that's ready to go now. Course of block straight across the front. Course of splits across the top. Wall plates on top of that. And a bit of block work to do in that corner. Just to finish that side off. Just spot where my level is there. So yeah, have a quick break now and then get stuck into it after break. And um, I can pretty much 99% say early finish today and then bank holiday off tomorrow. Bank holiday Monday. So, catch up before I get my sun cream on. Let's get off here. Steel's on. I need to get a line on here now, string it across, get our cuts. I've got a cut there, 
which is a 360. Obviously these cuts, let's get a last run across for that. And then we'll find out what this is. That's going to need trimming back when it's all gone off. Yeah. And yeah. All set to come across here with our block work and then a split and then the wall plate. Yeah. Top of steel, six by three. So that's wall plate height actually. There is no cuts over there. So we're gonna have to knock that off. As you can see there, that is the top of the wall plate. That is top of the wall plate if you just follow it around like that. So that needs cutting off and chopping down level with that. So I'll, I'll level across there with a the pencil and mark that up. Good job, I spotted that. And then this is going to be the same, it's going to be cut down. So there's no splits to go over the top, just the block weight to go on the outside. So that's a lot less cutting to do. So forget about stringing that line across. We're just ready for running this in. Yeah. Alex is currently getting the mix on. I'll get these cuts done before I put my sun cream on. And then get cooking. There we are. Last little bit in that corner. I'm guessing the tallies go in there. Ready for a wall plate, which runs through to here. Steel on, double insulated, and block work across, which just needs jointing. Oh, I'm sorry about that wind. I can feel the wind, so you'll be able to hear it. And yeah, we're done. Scaffold staying up because this is, this is Danny's. We're just going to take our plank back, which is that one, I think. The long one at the end give it a brush out and then we're done we're gonna have a quick dinner now and get the last bit of tidying up then after dinner just start to point this out to you look at that it's a strange one isn't it the tiles just bedded on top of them tiles Let's see if i can zoom in there you go look at that doesn't leak as far as i know but not good is it Bobbed on, and then the lead curled up at the end to direct the water into the gutter. Not good, but anyway, it's not leaking, so it's not leaking. There's the skylight in that roof, and obviously this is going to level across into this one now. I mean, nice big room this. Oh, it's just getting our profiles down. I'll point the holes up in a minute. So we'll catch you after dinner when we have a quick time lapse tidy and then uh, an outro for Alex. Well. There you have it, 
I uh, was here for three days of this, so all credit to Dad and Danny for his help. So I'll just do my job, the outro. So thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more of this and everything else we do, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on the bell so you're always notified when we upload. That's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. This has been Brooklyn with Steve and Alex with a pretty, uh, pretty nice extension and we'll uh, see you in the next video.